When it comes to the equipment you use on saxophone, my philosophy is it should make what you want easier. It should never restrict you into playing a certain way or playing with a certain sound that is not what you're looking for. And the fact of the matter is most of the equipment we use is restrictive. It's going to change something about your sound and not allow you to go in another direction. So a lot of instruments or mouthpieces or reeds will make you darker. That's just how they play. So there's no way you're going to be able to go brighter from there if you want to go brighter because they put you in a dark place. My philosophy with my equipment is I want the most spectrum of sound possible. So I want the widest dynamic range. I don't want to be dark. I don't want to be bright. I want to be full. I want access, as much access to both of those dimensions in my sound. I want uh, a sound, a my equipment to help me project and resonate as much as possible. So I really don't like to use any equipment that's going to restrict my tonal capabilities, my dynamic capabilities, and that's why I'm using the gear that I'm using. So I'm using a Selmer uh, Soloist C-Star mouthpiece. The reason I like the Soloist, I also like the S80 um, versus some other mouthpieces, is because they do have that full spectrum. They do that very well. It's a really big sound, but it's also a very robust sound. It has good highs, it has good mids, it has good lows. A lot of the, the classical mouthpieces on the market right now kind of live in the dark spectrum, and a lot of players like to play that way, so that's great. If that's how you want to play, then that mouthpiece is perfect for you. But I don't like to exclude myself to being dark, I wanna have that full spectrum. And then if I wanna play dark, I'll make myself darker. I'm not gonna depend on my equipment to make me darker. I'm going to do that myself. So that way I can play dark when I need to, but I also still have access to brighter tones or you know, whatever. So the same thing with my reeds. Um, I'm using Van Doren traditional reeds. I've tried the gamut of Van Doren, the gamut of Daddario and other brands as well. And I always come back to the Vendor and traditional blue box. Uh, again, I get that full spectrum. They do take a little bit of work. Uh, you got to break them in properly. Uh, I do a lot of work with the reed knife as well for balancing and things like that. That's a, another discussion for another time. But the Van Doren um, reeds have always been kind of the rock steady solution for me. Uh, there are reeds that make it a little bit easier to play high, some that make it a little bit easier to play low, and again, some that are darker and some that are brighter. But I want that full spectrum. I don't want to be pigeonholed into one of those things with my reeds. Uh, ligature is kind of the last piece of the puzzle. This is actually not the ligature I typically use. Um, I use a Van Doren Optimum ligature. I've had it for like 12 years and it broke recently. Not Van Doren's fault, totally my fault. Uh, I just haven't replaced it yet. So this is just a two-screw ligature that I had lying around the office. Uh, but I can use this. This is, again, it's not restricting my sound. There are some ligatures that wrap the reed really tightly, sort of that rubber band effect. And that does lower the amount of high partials in the reed. It makes you darker. And if that's what you want, great. It's not what I want. So I want a ligature that doesn't color the reed for me. So I found that Van Doren Optimum does this really well. I really enjoy that ligature. I use it on all my horns. And then finally, we come to the saxophone. I'm using, this is an Eastman Rue St. George. Um, I also use Eastman 50 Secretary saxophones. And with saxophones, you tend to get one of a couple different options. You get the sort of full spectrum sound. I feel like Eastman does that really well. I've also seen a couple Selmer horns, the old Mark Sixes. They're, that's sort of their classic sound. They have this big, resonant, full spectrum sound. And I think that's why so many players like the vintage horns and why so many players are really liking uh, the Eastman saxophones. So they're sort of, I feel like they're, they're all over the place now. They've grown so much in just a few years. Uh, so I want a saxophone that gives me, again, that full spectrum. And then when I want to reduce, darken, brighten, whatever, I'm gonna make those controls. But a lot of saxophones that I've played, professional models, they tend to be really dark. That's okay if that's what you want. Um, some of them are exceptionally bright. Again, that's okay if that's what you want. Uh, but for me, I don't want to be pigeonholed. So obviously there's a theme here. The theme is you have a, the biggest full spectrum that you can and then change things as you want to change things on your own. So I know techniques to make my sound darker. I know techniques to make my sound brighter without requiring my equipment to do those things for me. So that's my philosophy. Again, 
everyone has their own take on this. If you like playing darker, if you like playing brighter, if you don't want to play so loud, if you want to play louder, there's all kinds of things can, that can enable you to do that. But my ultimate advice to you is use equipment that helps you get what you want the easiest. So now you know what I want, and now you know why I use the equipment that I use.